Judy Bloom was very involved um, from from the from the very beginning, um, but she was also very permission giving. She really understood that this had to be its own thing, and that and that it would have to it would have to have new life in ways. I mean, and that's just a credit to her being that type of incredibly committed writer. That even all those years later, with this this book that sold millions of copies, she wanted to try different things. So. She was very involved in the whole process and came to set. And we all sort of held hands and, and jumped in and knew that we were making this film for, for women my age in a lot of ways that grew up with the book, but also for this new generation of girls that are being reintroduced to it. I never, ever had a thought about setting it modern day. And part of that was because I think that when people go to the movies, when girls and women go to the movies, they understand that this thing that they've gone through, their moms went through and their grandmas went through. And here's this thing that takes place in 1970, and yet it's no different than what you experience today. So for me, the time period is actually, it's, it's important. It's, it's important because it connects you somehow. It connects you through all of history. This is something that we all go through. It was a massive search where we, we saw hundreds if not thousands of girls auditioned for Margaret. And the truth was, Abby walked in and was so instantly it. She made us laugh, she made us cry. I instantly rooted for her. I just wanted good things for this kid. I was just behind her. And she also, I think, what's so special about Abby as an actress and a human is she has such depth. She's miles deep and she's so She's so willing to dive in and go there. She's willing to get a laugh and make fun of herself. And she's also a beautiful, dramatic actress where she just makes my heart burst. Kathy came in and she is, she is so committed. She's so studied. I mean, she builds a whole layered backstory for her character. And so when she comes to set, it's so much richer than even what you imagine. Also, I have to say, Kathy is one of the funniest people. So much of what was incredible working with her was just giving her leeway to just play and improvise. And so, so much of it was just like, okay, like I'm not gonna call cut, just keep going. And she would just, the stuff that came off the top of her head was so funny and so much of that is in the movie. She's just, she's effervescent and that's the character. She just got it. When we sent the script to Rachel, first of all, I just crossed my fingers that she had grown up with the book and Judy Bloom and loved it because I knew that if she had, she would understand what a special project this was. But I also wanted to be very clear with her that it was different from the book and that in the film version, I wanted to really explore her journey as a mom in a much deeper way. She's a mom, she has young kids just like I do and we talked a lot about that. She connected, I think, to the material based on sort of what she was going through in her own life. And Rachel is just, she's, she's luminous. I mean, she's just, she's lit from within and she would just, she'd get in front of the camera and go and everything was so beautiful and moving and funny that it was, you know, honestly hard to, in the editing room, hard to, hard to pick a take because it's so, it's all so good and so varied 